Hey everyone, Steve here, and today I'm taking a look at Lost Sea, which is an upcoming game from East Asia Soft that releases for Xbox One on June 29th and PS4 and PC consoles on July 5th. So, very basically, Lost Sea is an exploration based action adventure game. Your character is an adventurer who wakes up on this beach with no other information about where you are or how you got there. And what you see here is exactly how the game starts. There's no cutscene beforehand, no story introduction, or anything like that. And eventually you'll encounter characters who give you a few hints about where you are. But for the most part, it seems like it's up to you to kind of figure out things as you go along. And it turns out that you're actually trapped in the Bermuda Triangle and you need to find your way home. So to do that, you're going to have to explore a number of different islands. And what makes these islands unique is that they're all procedurally generated which means they're going to be different every single time they won't be the same for any two people and if you were to go to one multiple times it wouldn't be the same for you I actually don't think there's a way to test that because I haven't found a way to go back to an island once I've left it I can only move forward on the map but the gameplay in Lossy is very simple you're gonna have a machete that you can use to smash crates and barrels and it also serves as your primary weapon to battle the wildlife you'll find on these islands and in addition to hostile creatures, you'll encounter a few friendly characters that you can recruit to be part of your crew. So right here you see I have one following me. He is my friend and he's going to help me accomplish different tasks. These crew members can perform, like I said, different tasks depending on the skills that they're assigned with, such as opening treasure chests, digging for items, building bridges where needed. You can find them randomly on the map. You'll be able to see what skills they have and then you can decide if you want to dismiss what you have currently or keep him and uh, go on with whoever you're using. And initially you can only have just one crew member following you, but eventually through various upgrades you'll be able to acquire three at once. Now you'll see there that I just had my crew member pick up a tablet and right here I'm actually carrying one myself. This is your primary goal on any island is to find these tablets and bring them back to your starting dock. These tablets are going to help you navigate further on the map and help you get to different islands. Um, you can find one or you can find I think the max is three that's the most I found and on the map it shows only three spots to hold tablets so I think that's all you can really find uh, maximum on any single island. By defeating enemies and smashing the crates and barrels you see, you're going to get experience as well as gold pieces. The gold pieces can actually be used to upgrade various parts of your ship, and the experience is specifically for learning player skills, which will allow you to learn new attacks, increase your health and your stamina, and just really make it a little bit easier on yourself. So right here is the map screen. As you can see up on the top left, those are the tablets that you've been collecting. Every time you collect a tablet, it's going to be assigned a random number. So in this case, the one that I collected has a 3 on it, which means I can move 3 positions from my current island. And that determines how far along the chain you're able to travel. The tablets you can collect will either just randomly be out in the open, or you'll have to find them behind locked doors, which in order to get behind the locked door, you have to find the key first, then go to the door, and then find the tablet. You can purchase upgrades to your ship that will allow you to see tablets on the map, and the same goes for followers. You can purchase an upgrade that will allow you to identify followers on the map. So basically, the more you play, the more you unlock, and the easier your adventuring and exploring gets on you. So far things seem very basic, but I am having a lot of fun with it. I did make it through the first chain of islands and defeated the boss, which I'll upload as a separate video. But for right now, that's all I have. So thanks for watching and have a great day.